Hello. You don't know me, but uh, I'd like to be known. This is a M90 shotgun. It is a functional recreation in 12 gauge of the famed Halo shotgun. It loads from the top. It cycles on the right hand of the side of the receiver. And it has as close to an aesthetic feature that I could possibly manufacture. Magpul UBR stock, AR-15 pistol grips, and a not too bad trigger. This gun represents months and months and months and months and months and months and months of work while I've been a student at CST. I have put roughly $5,000 worth of R&D into this um, and countless hours of work. Currently I'm sitting on a done gun. This is completely functional. So to go over the gun, we'll start with the tip. The muzzle is a 1947 poly choke that has been dual banded into the barrel and soldered in place. Mesa Tactical uh, magazine tube to barrel adapter that I have used to affix the scattergun technologies magazine tube and the Slade, Slade Street Industries uh, heat shield, which is bonded to an ATI heat shield, using sights from both of those that have been modified to make the sort of appearance look right. On the barrel, I took a ribbed uh, 22 inch barrel, cut it down to 18, and then used the rib as a mounting point for a 1018 rod stock that has been machined to the right dimensions such that it can fit this modified action. The handguard itself uses two 203s bonded together with DEVCON. The uh, handguard originally was an adapt adaptive tactical that I have severely modified. The receiver, as we move down, is a left-handed 870, which when rotated goes back to the right side. The action arms are welded back in place in the right time. The trigger mechanism has been cut and then reduced to allow for the action lock to be maintained on top with the hammer spring not modified so I don't change any of the timing on the action. Um, with CST, modifying a receiver is not allowed, so basically that was a design constraint for me, but doing so has allowed me to make a machined aluminum block that allows for the trigger to be routed all the way underneath and then pulled while shouldered, obviously, in this position. To the rear, we have a Magpul UBR stock, which is still adjustable, mounts via the same way, unmodified, um, and any AR-15 grip. Uh, originally, a BA or BCM grip was gonna be used, but uh, A2 is all I had on hand, so that's what I used. Um, Sarah coated every single part inside the gun that isn't, uh, you know, under tolerance, and all of the screws are stainless steel. This is essentially my Mark I. This is a prototype of something that I want to continue doing should people show enough interest, should people sponsor this sort of thing. Um, I will be graduating from Colorado School of Trades uh, and moving on to be a gunsmith in North Carolina. I work for the Rock Guns um, and we do some good work there. I think that given enough time and enough resources, this is something that I could do regularly, but it wouldn't happen without people that have supported me, like my friends, my teachers, and my fiance. So this really is something that has been worked on for what I could consider almost my entire life. I have wanted this since I was a child, and now I'm holding it, and it works. So I figure I might as well show you how that, that does. As you can see, we're in currently the hammer is forward and the action is forward. You can pump it and it'll open the action. The lifter is still in position as it would be in the game. You push the action, the uh, lifter or uh, shell carrier will toggle, load a shell, and then you can fire it. The safety of the 870 has obviously been, been uh, modified and deleted, but the trigger pull is of a heavy enough style that that basically constitutes itself as a safety. We're looking at, looking at about roughly 16 to 18 pounds for the trigger, which while heavy is the benchmark for this project because of all of the crazy stuff that's happening in here. 
Uh, I don't feel comfortable opening this area because there's basically my own sort of madness in there. And while I don't think someone would want to or even could replicate it uh, just off of a video or a picture, I guess that's just my little secret for now. I hope that this inspires people to continue making cool things. I hope this inspires people to consider attending CST. And I hope that it considers or uh, it's possible to consider uh, giving me jobs for weird stuff. So I appreciate your time, and remember.